What is up everyone? Welcome back to our lawn and today we are talking about my go-to strategy for how I kill weeds in my yard. And my go-to product, which are these two guys right here, the Spectricide Weed Stop for Lawns. However, the astute among you might notice something different. Can you tell me what the difference is? Can you? That's right, the caps are different colors. What does that mean? Let's talk about it. So first in very generic terms, let's talk about how to apply these products. Now these are concentrates, that's what I recommend. And you're going to use some form of pump sprayer, be that a one gallon handheld, a two gallon handheld, a four gallon backpack hand pump, a four gallon backpack battery operated sprayer, or some very, very cool and something I very much want to do. One of these these spray rigs that guys like Connor Ward, Real Load Dad, Real Turf, uh, Lawn Tools all have constructed and put together themselves. I want one of those. That's how we're going to go about putting them down. Let's talk about the difference now. The orange cap, you'll notice and maybe be able to see it on screen, plus crabgrass killer. What does that mean? Well, that means that this one has quinclorac. This bottle is 40 ounces, it costs $8. This bottle, no crabgrass killer, does not contain quinclorac, slightly different set of active, active ingredients, slightly different concentrations of active ingredients. This is a 40 ounce bottle, it costs $9 on Amazon. More expensive, does less things. Why would we use this one? Well, couple reasons. If you're just trying to deal with broadleaf weeds, creeping charlie, dandelions, thistle, violet, clover, any of those broadleaf weeds, you don't need the quinclorac in this one. This is going to get take care of all of it and I can go show you back in the fairway I had to use it back there. Another reason, quinclorac is not safe for St. Augustine and it's also not safe for bent grass. There might be some other grass types I'm leaving out that, that the quinclorac in this product is not safe for as well. But back to talking about broadleaf, this, because it's a little bit higher concentration because it's fewer actives, is actually cheaper to apply. So although it's $9 and 40 ounces and this one's $8 and 40 ounces, this one you're applying at anywhere from two to four ounces per thousand depending on your grass type. This is six ounces per thousand. So I'll put the math quickly on the screen what that difference is. Also, I'll include the active ingredient lists and what their percentages are so you can see those quickly. Pause the video if you want to actually look at them in detail. So if you're just trying to control some broadleaf that are cropping up, I would actually recommend you go out and find this yellow cap bottle because that's going to be a cheaper application for you and going to be just as effective. Also, if you have St. Augustine or bent grass like I do back there in order to not kill that. If you are dealing with all sorts of problems, including problem grasses, I would recommend this one. It's gonna cast the widest possible net. Maybe your first blanket application on a normal cool season lawn or a lawn that isn't St. Augustine or bent grass. I would recommend going with that and just cast the widest weed control net that we can and utilize it that way. So again, lower concentrations, but more active ingredients to kill a larger set of weeds. Six ounces per thousand, slightly more expensive application rate. This one, safe for bentgrass and St. Augustine lawns are going to take care of still a lot of broadleaf weeds and potentially some grassy type weeds. Um, not for sure, but I believe largely just your broadleaves. So I hope that information is helpful. I will flash up right now the before and after on what I've got with this yellow bottle back on my bentgrass fairway. And then we can also take a look at some before and afters from my seeding project last year and how well that took care of the, the weed infestation that we had on that section of lawn. Both of these products work very well. They are the kind of beginner, low barrier to entry weed control products that I recommend. Fairly low concentrations, so there's some, some wiggle room in there for you to make a mistake on application rate. Still follow the label as best as you can, but you're pretty safe with both of these in terms of you're not gonna kill your, your yard on accident. So maybe let me know, what is your weed control of choice? Do you have any, any experience with these products specifically and what have your results been? Let me know in the comments down below. So I hope that information is help you, helpful to you. If it was, like the video, subscribe to the channel to follow along with all the things we're doing here in our lawn. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.